Have you ever wondered, am I the asshole? Welcome to Who's the Asshole, a grinder podcast where we're not just talking shit, we're getting into it. I'm your host, Katya, and I'm here to probe deep into your messiest, juiciest stories. So bend over, ladies, because I want to see the receipts. Who's the asshole? I'm joined today by wonderfully talented, incredibly show-stopping musician of the country variety, Mr. Orville Peck. Hello. Oh, I couldn't be more thrilled to have your holding that chair. <laughs> um, same. Are you suction cupped to the seat, honey? Yep. <laughs> Fierce. I tried to wear like grinder s colors, by the way. Did you notice that? You failed miserably. Well, I don't have like orange, really. I don't either. Yeah. I guess we should go home. You're not even wearing close to orange. No, but I have a thong on. Ah, uh, uh, great. And great. it's it's become orange over time. Okay, great, great. Yeah. <laughs> Now, why the pippy long stocking braids with the fringy mask? I'm so curious. Why, what, just in general? Why not, I guess, yeah. Yeah, because you usually do the fringe, do you, is this a thing you usually yeah, do? Yeah, sometimes I tie them. This is like my Willie Nelson braids. Oh my God, you know? but a little bit further. You yeah, just shift just the hairline like, this a little is like bit. a little more like, you know, show a little lip. Oh, so you're getting freaky with it. You're yeah. getting a little freaky with it. So if I, I mean, I wear a mask sometimes. Today I've, I've. Oh, I've, I've seen them. Do you glue that thing on there? Onto my face? No, onto the, the fringe onto the mask. Yeah, it's like, I think it's sewn on or something. I mean, someone else makes them now, so I don't make them Oh, anymore. wow, okay. Yeah. Outsourcing, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was supporting a young working artist, but that doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think I'm young. I love that. Oh, okay. Settle this for me right now. Yeah. Is young better than old? No. Really? We know this. Come on. I know this, but I'm just wondering if you know it. How old are you? I'm 36. Oh, that's a great age. Yeah. What have you learned at 36 that you didn't know at 35? Well, I've only been 36 for about two weeks so far. You're lying. Yeah, it was my birthday on the 6th, Oh, remember? I didn't go to your party. Shit. I know. Thanks for coming. Was it fun? I think you were working. It was really I fun. I was working. It, working's back in. Well, it was karaoke, but the weird oh. thing is, is like, yeah, I know the annoying but thing you is- you can sing though. I know, but I don't want to be doing it. I want other people to do it, but then no one ends up doing it. So then I'm just performing for people and I'm like, this feels so f And up. you're not getting paid. I'm not getting paid. And also I'm like, I don't want to do this. Well, you know, <laughs> that sounds like the funnest birthday party it ever. It was so fun. I'm I don't want to be there. here. I don't yeah. want to do this. This is not fun. It's no, no, my no. birthday. But, um, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, so, but you know, I've learned a lot because guess what? I did ayahuasca. I know that that can be a tremendously transform, without sounding corny, of course. No, it's a tremendously it was. It transformative was very, experience, right? Very, very transformative, yes. Life changing. Where did you feel the transformation? Mostly. Uh, was it centered around your asshole or in your heart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Listen. No, I didn't feel any transformation in my asshole, no. Well, I think you should get your money back. Yes, maybe. I should look into that. Was it, did you puke? Didn't puke. Felt very sick though. You didn't puke? Some, you, most people don't. It's not like you hear, it's not like people throwing up and running no, around. No, I heard it. It was a cacophony of, a symphony. Yeah. Of screeching, squelching vomit. I'm talking a oh, hundred people. Yeah, there was, uh, there was someone doing We that. had Moaning Myrtle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was like, Ugh, Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that was me. <laughs> you were doing a vocal performance no, no, no. again for no money. It was karaoke vomit style. Jesus Don't Christ. Don't make me sing. <laughs> Don't make me puke. Don't make me puke. <laughs> what, you, what did you learn? Um, I learned to be really nice to myself. You know? Interesting. Yeah. Are, how's that going? Good. It's going really well. <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. Yeah, it's going okay. good. Okay, but what, when you croon, yeah. what is the difference as a singer between crooning and singing? And I'm not being, a, a, I'm being joke. Are man. you the asshole? I, n absolutely. But I'm, I'm, that's a serious question, kind of, because I'm not a Yeah, no, well, a, a crooner is like, you know, like uh, Frank Sinatra or maybe oh. all of it. Like it's, I think oh, it's, yeah. you know, I'm not, I'm not Miriam Webster, but I think it's sort of like, uh, 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 low, usually lower register, Ooh. sort of like like a Dean Martin vibe. Like, hey, tip your waitress, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Puke in the parking yeah. lot when you do ayahuasca. <laughs> exactly. Feel it in your asshole. Hey, David, did you catch that? The town. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. You know, I famously have not listened to your music. I know. You tell me that every time we spend time together. Well, because I... I <laughs> because... <laughs> 
I prefer to be your friend. Call me crazy. And neighbor. Do people know we're, we're neighbors? Now as they well. do. Yeah. Now they do. Friends and neighbors. Friends and neighbors. And I have to tell you, I was so nervous the time the first time I went over to your house. I was terrified. Really? Uh-huh. Why? Because I thought you were a real fancy rich person. Now yeah. I know you're a dirt poor child. Dirty, dirty, <laughs> dirty spawn. <spot. laughs> no, because you didn't am I correct me if I'm wrong, you did not grow up rich. No. Thank God. I know. Okay. So look, we like old and poor. This is old, what we're starting yeah, at. Yeah, but, this is what we're well, no, no, at. we like. Um, it's depressing and it's expensive. Two words. I hate. You know what I like? I like peppy and I like cheap. Peppy and cheap. Um, we grew up with not a lot of money, mm. which I think is important. But we had enough. Yeah. I don't have an axe to grind or a point to prove in terms of no. money. But I know a lot of people who do. Sure. Yeah. People Listen. who grow up in rusted tin roof trailers. Yeah. We know one. <laughs> we, we, I know who you're thinking of in particular. Yeah. <laughs> Mistress Isabella Brooks. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, but it's tough. If you feel like you don't grow up with enough money, you feel compelled to make a lot, a lot, a lot of it. Oh, well, then, and then let me let me give you this to chew on. Then you make it. And then, and then you don't know what to do with it. And then you spend it poorly. And then wait. you have conversations with, like, accountants. And they're saying... Oh, yeah, but we're going to file you a 225 and, you know, wrap it around. Yeah, for, and, and, I'm, and the 450 goes and in I'm the going, 110. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And secretly I'm like, I fucking have no clue what these people are talking about. Is it a Roth 401k or IRA? And I'm scared or, that yeah. I'm going to be like Shakira. Like some, one day someone's going to say you're going to prison because yeah, you haven't or paid like taxes. Fan Bing Bing. <laughs> like, she had to phone in the 355 performance from China. They <laughs> so wouldn't let her cross the border. No, no, no. I'm serious. I, I think, I'm serious I too. I think it's, I'm scared. I'm so, you that's my New Year's resolution is to understand more about tax money and that stuff. Well, let me tell you something. That bitch better have my money song. Yeah. That was about getting fleeced by one's accountant, Rihanna. Really? Do you know Rihanna? Of course, big fan. That's how you pay attention to the tax code and where your money is going. Because it's fierce, girl. Getting mm -hmm. fleeced by your business manager oh. or accountant. Yeah, running off to Rio or wherever. Or like. wherever, or the moon or Mars. I mean, <laughs> At that girl, point, yeah. Hello. That's a, she's like a billionaire It's like now. gravity. This person's got billions of dollars just floating through space. <laughs> And she's like fading away like, to the icy it. blackness. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So what would you do if you were on a grinder date uh, and the person was more like, famous than you? Uh, would you be more attracted to them or less attracted or scared or would it make a find difference? I fame attractive. <sighs> you know? I, I do. Just, listen, I think it's um the only time I've been really I've met a, you know, we both, we met a lot of, you meet a lot well, of famous people when you have live in LA more and famous people than I. It's very strange. Like, I can't, if Charlize there and walked through the door, yeah. I would probably shit myself. I'd probably have poop all in my pants like a little yeah. baby. I mean, the only people, I've been, I, I was really starstruck by Brad Pitt when I met Brad Pitt. You met Brad Pitt? Yes, I was at a what? party. You never told me that. I was at a birthday party and I'm waiting for the bathroom at this venue. At like the Chuck E. Cheese or the No, it was, Beppo, like a, or? it was like a private venue in LA. Oh. <laughs> Um, it was my friend's birthday, and I'm I'm standing in line at, for the was bathroom. He tall? Yeah, he's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Well, that um, oh, I didn't. But know But like Brad he's, was... you know, like our generation, that was like the that was like the marker for oh, handsome. It was honey. like Brad Pitt and like Angelina Jolie. A like, hundred fucking percent. Like that was the that was the description of someone handsome. Yes, it was like so. You're so Brad, like Brad Pitt. Pitt. That's literally, <laughs> literally, no, literally, it was that. It was that insane. And then you kind of think, oh, maybe that's like. By today, maybe now no. that won't count. When you see this man, I'm sure. I'm not joking. Imagine. I just want to hold. I want him to hold me. Like he's <sighs> glowing and emanating, and he's so you know he's like super like chill stoner dad vibe. Totally. He's wearing like a little funny like bucket hat, and he's dressed a all bucket cute. Hat? Oh yeah, he looks so cute. And <sighs> he comes out of the bathroom. Get this. He comes out of the bathroom and he goes. He's holding the door, and I'd met him very briefly before, and I was like all like uh, so. And then I went, oh hi again, and he goes, hey, and I went. Um, do you know where the bathroom is? He's like, it's in my mouth. He, no, he, go, he goes, uh, yeah, it's, you're in line for it. It's right here. And I go, oh my God, of course. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. like being full, like, like rom-com. And he's like, he's like, awesome, man. I'm like, yeah, bye, bye. I really enjoyed our meet cute. We just met. We're going to fall in love. Like if I had, if I had like a cake, I would have fallen. It would land if on my head. If you had hot coffee, you would have like oh, spilled it like, all over your it was, breast. It was like, she's all him. that. Yeah, it was so ridiculous. Oh. But um, see, that's the Brad, but, that's what you do. So you're Brad Pitt. That does impress me do. much. It do impress me much. And uh, I was, he's beautiful and I would, I would, I would risk it all to have one night of um, bliss with him. I'm going to take it a little bit further <laughs> and just be a, vul I know that you will, you have to eschew vulgarity in light of your public image, but I'm not afraid of saying that I would suck the shit right out of his f***ing asshole. 
And that's me, the asshole in this scenario. Um, however, Brad Pitt, I mean, Beautiful. it cannot be overstated. The man was, and it probably remains to a lot of people, the most famous man on earth. Yes. I think so, right? Yes. Brad Pitt. Oh, in Brazil, they say Brad Pitt. Oh, really? Kind of. And then they, were they? Uh... <laughs> the first laugh of the day, fierce. <laughs> but no, it's great, but it's like Brad Pitt. It's such a. Yeah. A one, two punch. Oh my, what about, what about, I think it was Oklahoma. He's from Oklahoma, I think. That, he's like country boy. No. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me, but I think he's from Oklahoma. But you know, like he played, remember he played that cowboy in Thelma and Louise with the hair dryer? Who robbed the, he got the girls. Like. Robber. Uh, robber. Hot. Uh, hot. Hot. The first, I mean, that was, I think that was, I couldn't believe, that movie was so good. Sexual awakening. In many ways. In very many Gina layers. Gina Davis. Oh, honey. With the lesbian undertones. Ooh. Undertones. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think we have a lot of tones in that movie. None mm. of them were under. Um, mm. Yeah, that was, that was, that was good. They're going to remake that any day now, I bet. No. You know they are. Louise and Thelma. Louise You're just going to change the IP, just going to swap them. It's gonna see the who's going to be in it? Well, it's going to be uh, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon. No, no, no. It's going oh. <laughs> to be, um, it's going to be Selena Gomez. And no, you need two red. Wait, uh, but they're both redheads, right? You need two redheads. Sort of, yeah. Well, yeah. So who's the redhead be... in Hollywood? Um, uh, uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone, and then, and then, uh, uh, I don't know, like um, Jessica Chastain. Okay, okay. I could wait a minute. I could get behind that. I could too. I could get ooh, in front of it. Ooh, ooh. Or or Cri 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 Kristen Ritter. No, no. Uh, uh, with Twilight, Cri Kristen. Kristen? That's Kristen Stewart, Stewart, but she's not a redhead, I don't but believe. But she's sort she's of a adjacent. chameleon. Yeah. Oh, and she's kind of, well. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> did you, <laughs> Book it a Beppo. But did you I watch got. Twilight the movie, and did it make you hard? I watched the first one. I wasn't someone that was all, you know, I didn't in, really get it. You didn't get into a vampire mythology created by a Mormon lady? Yeah, on, on like a Reddit, right? Wasn't it Honey, like fan fiction? I, I, the last time I checked, there wasn't any blood in this in this movie. <laughs> there were no blood, but they did it. Uh, they did like <laughs> knock each other's heads off in a scene, and I thought that was riveting because it was a dry knock. You know what's weird? I remember even at the time, just thinking, "This is trash." Stupid. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what? In hindsight, <laughs> hindsight Ooh, is like, yeah. hindsight allows us the opportunity to look back and be like, "Oh yeah, that thing I loved was total f***ing garbage." Okay, I have something. Do you? I want someone needs to look this up seriously. They, because I don't know, but my friend is like sort of an ironic fan of Twilight. Okay. And they're always they're, they're always, oh, they're always talking they're about like, it. I lo we love it. Like, like ha ha ha! It's so yeah. stupid, but they're always talking about it. And they told me that at one point, like. Kristen Stewart and, um, and what's his name? Uh, Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Yeah. They have a baby in one of the movies, a kid. Okay. And they name it a combination of their characters' names, and it is the most ridiculous. What's the name? Someone please look it up. It is literally. Is it like Harambe? No, that's the, it's that's like, the gorilla. It's, it's like if we had a kid and we named it um, or Orkatia. Or Orvil. Corval. Kato Vorval. It's so stupid. Renesme. Renesme. Renesme, girl. That was the baby that got imprinted That's by the werewolf. That's how you know that shit was written on Reddit. Renesme. Honey, it's a Mormon lady who's mm -mm. cuckoo bananas, and guess what? It <laughs> stinks like his asshole is more pristine. <laughs> that there, uh, there's more gore in this asshole than there is in that entire movie. <laughs> that movie is such trash. But <sighs> it's who's the asshole in that situation? Is it the writer, the director, all, or, the, all of them? It's producer. not the actor. It's not it's the, the, actors, the person though. who greenlit it. Whoever is in charge. They're like that's. The <laughs> but but funny enough, those two gorgeous human beings went on to become quite independent and mega watt movie stars in their own and right. And great actors. Yes. You know? Yes. Like really, really good. Both of them. Both mm -hmm. of them. I want to play a game called Asshole or Not. I'm going to name some behaviors and topics, and we're going to decide if it's an asshole thing to do or not. This is important. Okay. Marilyn Manson. Uh, I used to love when I was younger, but yeah. not. I was a Question. And Asshole. he, 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 just, he, I went to go see him. He didn't even show up on stage. He just canceled. There you go. There you go. The girl. Pulling a, oh, girl. Come on, stage. Go. <laughs> Come on, yeah. stage. Okay. Asshole or not, Crocs. Asshole, I don't like them. You never wore them? I have. The only ones I get are from like friends of mine who have done collabs, and I just can't do it. Not the collab. <laughs> okay. Uh, asshole or not, blank profiles. Uh, asshole. Because what, 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 what are we the doing? information? What, what are we doing in here? In 2024, the year of our Lord, who doesn't exist, Listen. what the f*** 
If you don't, listen, am I supposed to do it with a blank profile? Am I supposed to just imagine that there's an owl there? If with you a don't want to put gonna... your face immediately, I get it. I understand that. Listen, but you have to send a picture. Oh, but oh, it, tea, like, tea. but you need to have something there because then it's also the crazier one is blank profiles that are like asking for pictures. I'm like, are you? Why are you demanding something that you're not able to give? Right. Ask yourself, tall or not? Astrology. Tall. I'm over it. I used to love it and now I'm so over it. Because living in LA, everyone's like, what's your Mercury 12th house? I'm like, I have no idea. I can't keep up. Well, I can't I got fuck enough this guy. Problems. Well, his moon is in Libra, yeah. but my sun is in Scorpio. I don't need any and more And my is in David's <laughs> so I can't fuck this guy. You have to check my chart and call me back. Yeah, I can't do okay. it. Okay, um, asshole or not, being friends with your ex. I'm only friends with one of my exes, uh, so Does I guess- Does he live in Texas? Because they're all assholes. <laughs> <laughs> do you, what about asshole, okay or not, amicable breakups with lovely people whom you used to date. That's lovely. Okay. I have one of those. Okay. Yeah. That's one, one is enough. One's when enough. it comes to assholes. Yes, 100%. Last one, asshole or not, babies. No, I love babies. Ugh, I hate them. I know you do. They're disgusting. I know. Assholes. Major assholes. Let's take a look yep. really quick at what babies do. Destroy your life. Uh -huh. Shit all over you. Mm. Make you eat more and mm. then shit all over yourself. They make you pee. <laughs> they make you go to the bathroom. They make you change them. They're disgusting. They gotta go. Thank you. Okay. Um, note to babies out there. Stay <laughs> off grinder. Do good enough? No. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to have some fun. You wanna have some fun? I love fun. I know you do. Mm. We set up a voicemail for grinder users to call and share their very own Who's the Asshole stories. Let's have a listen to see if we can shed some light on their situations. Uh, darling, bring me my phone. Rotary. Hello. This is, by the way, a, a transgender woman here. Um, and I'm just wondering, is it, like, bad for me to just block people after a dick pic? But I'm looking for a little bit more substantial reasons to want to partake with someone who has a little bit more conversational bigger rather than Oh, here's my dick, and let's Okay, well, okay. I have some thoughts. Me too, yeah. Go, you go. I think block away. I yes. think that is your prerogative. I think if you feel like, for whatever reason, someone's crossing a boundary that you don't like or making you uncomfortable, block them. Your house, your rules, your pleasure. Period. Like, mm -hmm. block, the sh block, block whoever you want. Honey, I, sometimes I go through my phone when I'm at the gas station, and I just block people from my phone. <laughs> And then I unblock them later if I remember. And if I don't, Is that whatever. why my calls aren't going through? Yes. <laughs> but I was like, she didn't use a green today. She's green today. It's like, you. there's no obligation. You create your own rules a within a, a, you know. Yeah, well, listen, if you, if you like, and especially if, especially like, you know, this person is saying like, when someone specifically sends sort of unsolicited, yes. like, yeah, yeah f that, like block him if you don't want And also, that. I would say that if you, from my experience, if you put that in your profile, they're more likely to send you nudes. If they, right. you say don't send nudes, they're gonna send them. Right, because it's like some thriller or something. Yeah, so block crazy. away. I say block, block, block. Block until block until it says 20 miles away and there's no uh -huh. one left in your 20, neighborhood. 20,000 miles away, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Block until they're like in <laughs> orbit around Saturn. Love <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would also go further and say that you don't owe anything anybody when it comes to your cellular telephone. Mm -mm. No. This thing? And your time. Let's be, it's 2024. Time is oh, money. Yeah. No one owes anyone shit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Boop, 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 Time is money and Brad Pitt is in debt. Oh, and Brad Pitt's okay. so sexy. All right, let's take another phone call. Hello? I am a 25 year old guy that recently got broken up with oh. in a text message after about three years in a relationship. After I was broken up with, Multiple men came forward about how they slept with said boyfriend while I was away because we were doing long distance and we were in an open relationship. Mm -hmm. um, however, the ex-boyfriend decided not to abide by any of the rules that we put forward together. I told absolutely everyone that he is an awful, dirty person and that Ooh, he gave me an STD, oh, okay. which he actually did. The only people I haven't told is his family, um, and I'm about to do that anyways. So am I the first right now? Oh. All this information between oh. all of our friends and almost family. Oh. Yes, we're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna find out. Okay. Um, Whoa, that really took I, a turn. I know. I I have some complicated would, feelings yeah. about this, but yeah. listen, they're just my feelings. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Um, I would love to get. I would love to like distance myself from the terminology of clean and dirty. Yes, I agree. Just because. I mean, I've had gonorrhea, and I wasn't dirty. No. I 
my pants though. That was dirty. My, let me say that. I I my pants as in feces came out of my ass. Do you know what I mean? That was dirty. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. But that was from the antibiotic shot in my butt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but the gonorrhea itself was just what, a bacterium or a virus or something? Yeah, look, I mean, I think, yes, okay. Let's let's roll back here. Okay. So you got broken up with, yeah. and that sucks. Sucks. Sorry sucks. about that. That hurts. Sucks. And heartbreak is awful. Doesn't matter how, or it, it doesn't <laughs> necessarily matter how or why. Just the fact that you did is terrible. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, a good it thing. Shakes, it shakes everything about your, your about your confidence in yourself, right? It does. Awful. Mm -hmm. Then next step, you find out that uh, your ex was essentially cheating on you, or whatever you want to call it. You know, mm -hmm. are you jealous? I'm so jealous. Yeah, I can be Very jealous. jealous. Well, I mean, I think to a point, I think I'm not jealous if, mm -hmm. I think, no, actually, I don't think I'm <laughs> jealous. <laughs> so you're a liar. But I'm saying if someone is acting out of our agreements and yeah. rules, yeah. then of course it's jealous. But is that even really jealousy? It's more like, it's more like, F you. Yeah, I guess it's a violation. It's hurtful. Yeah. So this person hurt him by, uh, uh, and, but you know what's really weird? What? I feel like I've seen this scenario play out and I always think that is so weird of like the people you know to be like, oh, I'm so glad you broke up. Yeah, we used to f by the way. It's oh, like, excuse me. I like, know, you better you not tell too. me. It's you like, better not fucking tell me. Take that to your grave because we're not friends anymore. Like that's Hello. f too. Because what is the burden of responsibility as it relates to people knowing about infidelity? And, what like, is, what and is you that? obviously knew it was wrong because you didn't tell them until after like well, what right. a weird I, is that your friend it's a weird like, flex that's weird i think it's a weird flex yes. i feel like you have to just you say you shut up you have to or, suffer or, that guilt or uh -huh. you it's or, not your guilt though right i mean yeah. it's not your guilt but whatever you know. whatever's whatever's uh making you want to tell the person that i mean that's just going to be hurtful that's crazy I know. so that's kind of crazy i think your friends are a little up. <laughs> outing <laughs> your like your sti status to the family that's is very bizarre. weird it's like well so you slut, you dirty whore. I I'm going to call your mother. Also, I'm a little bit, call me, this might, this might sound a little silly or cheesy, but like, I'm sort of of the be the bigger person totally. camp. Totally, well, that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. I, I mean, totally. I think calling up your ex's family and telling them that he gave you an STD, I think that- Petty. I think that makes you look crazier than your yes, ex. Yes, it's Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Yes, it's free, you're free falling. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's Lori Petty and Tank Girl as Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Free what were those creatures? Kangaroo people? Tank Girl. The creatures. Oh, I don't know. I think they were really petty, though. I love Lori Petty. Where is she? Oh, what is she doing? She's, Mama, she's living her life. She's, she's, so not, cool. she's not giving STI screenings to the mother and father of her. She had a good voice. Good talking voice. She did. Come she on. was in A League of Their Own. Yes. As the sister. The sister. Oh, Racine. God. Traded to she Racine. She to the other one. Yes, that's right. Yep. So, who's the asshole? I think they're both oh, the yeah. Your ex is an asshole and you are about to be an asshole. Yes, don't, don't fall do into it. the trap. Don't Listen, be the asshole. Sometimes when you go to Berghain in Germany, um, <laughs> there's a big gaping chasm that opens up in the middle of the dance floor. And if you don't look down, you'll fall right into that hole. And guess what? It's a big German asshole and it's dark and wet in there. Don't drink from the taps underneath the bathroom. That's I'm just some good advice for Berghain. lose my lunch. That is so gross. What is that? What's well, Germany? They're yeah, crazy. Exactly. It's Germany. Um, so <laughs> it's Berlin, babe. Berlin. <laughs> Welcome to Berlin. Are you on the guest list? I, it's like who wants to be on that list? No, no. A shit list, literally. You're on my fecal roster. <laughs> fecal roster. <laughs> do you love it or do you love it? Okay. Fecal rosters. Okay. Last time I'm going to pick up this phone, Dick. Okay. Hello. I decided to go take my friend to a club for his birthday. It was me, him, and another friend of mine. Birthday friend is, uh, or was, deeply in love with me. But I always made it clear that I didn't look at him that way, that I really appreciated his friendship. Mm. And that was it. We went to the club. I got a little too drunk. I ended up... Never mind, I am the <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I, the, oh my God, how is that? Thank you so much, boop. That's fierce. Yeah. It's like, I drove to the courthouse, I put on the suit first, <laughs> and then I appeared before the judge, and then I said, you know what, just give me the handcuffs. Yeah, exactly, That's right. Like, let's That's just like, fierce. Let's, let's not waste everyone's yeah, time yeah, yeah. here. A bailiff, go home, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, legal 12, counsel. 12, 12 angry men, yeah. Yeah. go take a nap. <laughs> give the paralegal some vacation time. I, this is not, this is not. Oh, the stenographer. Yeah, yeah. 
takes a lot of time. That's really that's really interesting. I love that. It's very like okay. I also like mm. I also like the drama of us just knowing what the rest of that story is. <laughs> Oh, just what innately, a we see it. I but, see the uh, whole thing. But I don't see that. I'm like gripped. I want to grab that phone dick and see I what think the what fuck it happened. Is, I think the implication is. Um, what is it? Like he he got a little too drunk and he 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 slept with the friend who has this feelings for him. And then the next day they're like, oh shit, I oh, f***ed around with this with person. With this guy who's in love with me. Yes. Oh like my I let God. this person. I let this person. That's that's raw. That's I rough. led them on, and which is even crazier because they should have distanced themselves so that that person had time to. Well, they should have been responsible about not making sure that they're not going to toy with that person's feelings, especially if they love them as a friend. Absolutely. If I, then I mean, no, this would never happen, of course, on planet Earth. But if there was ever a, an attractive guy who was in love with me, <laughs> I would not only uh, f- him, but I would, you know, I certainly wouldn't like withhold my, you know feminine wiles from his greasy hands. You know what I mean? No, of course. Because I'm, well, I'm a slut and a whore. Well, also, I mean, if, the, if you're, if this person's, if you're in love with someone and then they get drunk and they're like, let's do it, you're probably like, oh my God, finally. Well, like, not drunk though. Drunk sex is so weird and yeah. so limp and so desperate. Have you noticed that? It's like, it's like trying to um, push a bunch of cooked pasta through like a, <laughs> through like a peephole. It's so strange. It's like, why are you doing that? You're not <laughs> going to remember it and nobody's going to love it. You're not getting a gold star. You're certainly got, not getting any college credit. It's bizarre. <laughs> unless it's your, unless it's your, um, what do they call them? Teacher's assistant. <gasps> TA. TA. Well, yeah. honey. Unless it's your TA, then you might be getting some credit. I love. I'm not condoning that though either. I am. Not. As long as the parties are, well, after school. And I think if it's, if it's, if it's consensual. Well, you can't have the power dynamic. I take yes. that back. Sorry. I take yeah, that yeah, back. Yeah. But I know many teachers who have, let's say inappropriately and perhaps illegally. Well, had, a, that's a, what age I'm, ta- yeah, yeah. I'm talking college. Okay. Grad school. Okay. Every TA who is a grad student is having sex with that professor, whether they like it or not. Yeah. That's a little scary. I think if you're, so, if you, if you, if you're in the not category, then that's bad. Uh, yeah. I think if you like, like it, go it's for like, it. You're really going to grad school. You're paying $200,000 to not have. But you know what I am an advocate for? And I am a supporter of what? Using sex. Th- no, this is something, not something I've ever done or do, but I, 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 I think it's, cool when people are cool with using their sex or whatever you want to call it, sexuality, Mm -hmm. to gain either profit or power or whatever it might be. I'd say go off. I mean, I do too privately. Not public. My my official stance is no. Uh, I think you should. It's sex don't positive. Don't do that. Think, no, no. But then, know? but then, really, I'm like, of course. Go off. Wield it. Like, Wield it. If you're an escort or whatever, like monetize go it. Off. Monetize it. How would you as a? How do you figure out what your worth is financially? I mean, sorry. Let me. How do you figure out what <laughs> you're? What you're charging? Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's, I think it might be the services you're providing. No, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and you also have, you have to figure out what's the market rate. Are there, are there, we should look into this. Oh, no, I know it because I used to do it, but back in oh, like the oh, early yes, 2000s. Oh, that's right. Early 2000s. So what were you charging? Oh, it was a real piddly amount, like, you know, $200 oh, for an hour. But yeah. back then, that could have got you a that, In 1928, girl, yeah, that was, <laughs> that, that could have bought a me a trailer. Yeah. Yep. And a half of a home in <laughs> Syasset, Long Island. Hello. Um, uh, yeah, it was wild. I mean, but it, an honest day's work though. I'm ch- I'm telling you, yeah. the Not oldest only, profession in the world. Am I a Nikki fan? Am I, <laughs> pull up in the Sri Lanka. <laughs> I swear to God, like it was the, the most honest day's work I had done. Up for, I mean, and I had had worked seven or eight jobs by that point. That's amazing. I went to work, which is in my living room. Yeah, my bedroom was in there. You're your own and, manager. Um, I was my own boss. I made my own schedule. I wrote my name on the on the, yeah. the schedule board, and I said, "Oh, she's not coming into work today." If oh. I didn't want to get in drag, yeah. and then I would either have sex with a man for money or not. And it was my decision. I it was that. fierce. I think that's so sick. And it was cash. And one guy even offered cancellation fees because they would cancel all the time. And the next time he came in, he's like, he put it in the vase, he dropped it in the bucket. And I was like, well, what's that extra? He's like, well, cause the last time I canceled, I was like. Aw, y'all be kind to your um, Tip to your, your massage uh, and, therapists and yeah. your ladies of the night, as yeah, it were. And really tip nice. 200% if you can. That's polite. There's no, they don't, they're not getting healthcare. And they are providing you a very intimate service. Not only intimate, essential to the the, the humanity of but people. But a service and yeah. also, and, and, prov- and doing a job that is at large looked down upon by a lot of society. And I think and that made that illegal. Is, yes. Crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Well, you know, in, in Minnesota, sex work is legal. Just kidding. <laughs> How do you know that? 
It should be. Oh, it is. I wish it was at least decriminalized. I think but it that's might be decriminalized in day. Vegas, isn't it? In I Nevada? think so. I, in Nevada, some places in Nevada. I've, I've, I did a music video at a, at a brothel, and I think it was the tea. <laughs> Where there, told you that? No. It's the Chicken Ranch. It's like the famous the Chicken Ranch. It's called the Chicken Ranch. Yes. Do you know who the only other person that's ever shot there? Brad Pitt in a photo shoot. It all comes back to Brad. So you're Brad Pitt. Well, that's $300. <laughs> <laughs> what would you tell How much would you pay for Brad Pitt? I would pay it. Not, right. not a dollar. Not a dollar? No, no. Not a dollar. But how much yeah. would I charge Brad Pitt to have sex with me in drag? Well, I'll tell you. A bucket hat. $1,500 for half an hour. Okay. So that's your worth, you're saying? With Brad Pitt, it's sliding scale. Right, exactly. It has to be a sliding scale. Well, because Brad Pitt, you're going to give a little discount. He just, they sold a, they sold a, um, a house in Las Feliz, I don't know how you say that, for $38 million almost. His house. Oh, yes. Well, so well I think he had he a had compound. Afford. There was like four of them. Yeah. Do you think a person deserves a compound, one single person? No. And I've, I've yeah. It's, it, I don't either. No. Well, thank you so much to all of our wonderful um, Desperate viewers and listeners at home who have called in through the dick phone to wonder out loud to us, are they an asshole or not? Mm. Thank you, phone. Go away. Thank you. Oh, and if they want to call in the future. Please. Yes, please. Leave 510 a message. asshole. Now that's dial 510 asshole. That's my personal number. Yes. His cellular telephone will, uh, will ring and we will answer your call. Is that a catch all sound effect for any kind of uh, alert? I think it's licensable. <laughs> 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 that is the gayest, weirdest. Um, oh, we could. Yeah. <laughs> what if that was the grinder notification? I think, <laughs> I think that. Uh, and then you open it as a dick. <laughs> from a person you didn't ask for. Yeah. Unsolicited. Y'all can use that. Wait, Take it for free. They should, they should have technology that interprets or uh, discerns between unsolicited and solicited pictures. Okay, what's the different sound? So unsolicited is a nasty ringtone like that. I love it. That's Wagner. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. <laughs> or Beethoven, <laughs> something stupid. Wagner. Yeah. What's she up to? Oof, being, being German. A totalitarian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you present to us an ethical dilemma that could take place on Grinder? It doesn't have to have to happen in your real life, but something maybe that could happen to yeah, me. Yeah, I can. What do you think? I can say this. Okay. I think I think it's in everybody's best interest on on something like Grinder mm -hmm. for everyone to be sh you know sharing um, uh, uh, up to date and um, oh. like uh, uh, representative. The information. truth. Some relationship to the truth, <laughs> yes. one would say, right? Because then I think there's, the, you know, the, there's an element of, um, you know, then what happens is when you show up and it's not the truth. Is this the catfish? Sure, yeah. Or just people that are maybe, you know, like showing Deceivers? you a photo from 20 years ago or something. Like They're living in the past. Yeah, but yeah. it's also like, well, I can't suspend my reality because I see you in front of me and it's not what we talked about. Right. How do you confront that? That's what I'm saying. It's an well, it's a very it? uncomfortable. And I'm what would you say? Can we? I'm play? a very empath kind of pushover. So like for me, it's not like goodbye. It's like talking for a while and then being like, you know, I think I should. You know, go. I noticed here that well, after we've spent three hours together and had tea and coffee and scones and everything else, yeah. and you've and, I've and, done your laundry and I um I helped you with your four hundred one k that you um moved, you don't help, look like your mom to yeah, that yeah, yeah, home. <laughs> Footed the bill for it, and I couldn't help but wonder that I don't know this person yeah, who's you. Don't, you. Uh, you don't really look like your photo, so I am gonna bounce. I know it's been three months. Thank you so much. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I had to do that once, and it wasn't that it wasn't it was the person, but what the the services that they had intended to deliver, the deliverables, as it were, mm. were not exactly delivered. Yeah, and I had to kick them out of my house because their let's just say their penis was not as large and as long as they had mentioned. Because okay. that's math. Yes. You know, like if you say it's 12 <laughs> inches, I know what that is because I have a measuring tape. Yes. And I have the measuring tape at the, the door. Right. right at the, around the <laughs> waist region. And I say, it's like an amusement park ride. If you're not this high, you can't come in. <laughs> I no, think what it boils true. down to though is like, you know, it's even even beyond just like you show up and it's not your preference. Like, it's just the fact of, of sort of... Um, Deceiving. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, yeah. I kind of feel like that already turns me off of something. Well, nobody loves a liar. I mean, I no. guess, well, maybe Shakira does. Shakira, Shakira. That, that, yes. Shakira, Shakira. Shakira. Do I live I in love Spain? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, what's the worst thing you could imagine 
that would happen to somebody on Grindr, besides maybe getting butchered or murdered. I was going to say, like, <laughs> wow, wow, how crazy do you want to get? I, that was not uh, a good aside question. Aside from, like, something really disastrous. Let's say, like, um, very, very... Um, ooh, 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 I've got one. Go. What if you show up and uh, the, the exchange maybe was, like, you know, like, some people like an anonymous exchange without a face photo or something yeah, like that, right? with a mask, even. But, like, what if you show up and it's somebody you know? Like someone you work with, mom? No, or something um, like, like that. Wh- it would. It's like oh, it's like your booking agent, your boss. Or so, yeah, like it's like someone in your life that you never can. Then what? Then it's what? Phil from accounting. Yeah. So you walk into the 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 um the darkened room in this um uh, an annex of an apartment building, right? <laughs> yeah. And you you say in your head, you're like, "That's Phil from accounting." I wonder if he knows if I'm. I wonder if he expects me to circle back on this critical key talking point. I didn't write and close that. the I didn't, loop. I didn't reply to his email. He didn't ping you. So you have to just boil the ocean uh, so that he can, you know, ping seat. himself. <laughs> Are you aware that of corporate lingo like that? Yes. I mean, I die. There's, a, there's a really funny Instagram account, and I, her name's... Um, corporate Erin? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Circle she's back. She's not an asshole. No, she's, a, she, she's, she's an angel. She's the ultimate... Yeah, she's, um, she gives the company grieving policy over Zoom. Yeah. Oh wow. Do you think she's been able to quit her corporate job? I think it's a little. I think it's a little twisted. I think that it's very. Because you know they don't appreciate that. Brittany Broski got fired when she was the kombucha girl. She fired got fired from, what? from her like corporate job because they were like, "You're this is embarrassing. You're like too." What was her corporate job? I can't remember. Oh, but something there like you that. Go. But she literally got fired for being kombucha girl. Well, because they're like, wait, you can't just be an, another like nameless cog in our machine of capitalism. They're like, you're on Vine right now. Like we don't want you working here. Was it like at a bank or something? I think so. Something oh like my that. god! Like investments or something. Jesus f-ing Christ! Yeah. Well, she didn't. She circled back, so they. I think her. she's fine now. Yeah. She just. Okay. She circled. Oh yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Are you or have you ever been on the grid? Uh, I'm not currently, but I have. Yes. Really? Now describe your grinder profile. What did it look like? What did it look like? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was like a photo of me without my face, okay. but I, a photo of my torso. But, okay. Silhouette. Yeah, a beautiful little silhouette, d- a Chinese dresser. Hard <laughs> uh, in profile. <laughs> um, I'm not, I don't think I've ever catfished somebody. Well, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Do you, because look, if I, if I make a grinder profile tomorrow and I even show my face, oh. the likelihood is people don't know who I am because I don't show my face. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you get recognized on Grindr for who you are? This is crazy. So I had to send a video, or I didn't have to, but I agreed to send a video that was like proving who I was, who I was. But I was like, if you're... Pretending to be me, you need to dream bigger. Do you know what I mean? Like, like Brad Pitt, that's a good somebody. You know, that's a good like reference photo to catfish. But right. I'm like, I, sh- I, sh- I sent him that's the thing, and I was like, it's today's date, and I'm me, and <laughs> You're here we are. A newspaper. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? It's so strange, but I did it, and then we had sex. Oh, good for so you. It worked, yeah, but yeah. That's great. Do you have any who's the asshole dating or hookup stories? Any any particular stories where you're wondering, was I the asshole? Were they the asshole? Unclear. I mean, I'll think for real for a second. Okay. If I have this correctly, do you have like a romantic comedy, like meet cute story at the airport? Yeah. Please and you don't. know, you, it's my ex who you know. I, We're not going to say his name. Okay. We can bleep not. this out. No, no, no. We can bleep that. We can bleep that. Look Fred Astaire. Okay. Bleep, but bleep that out. Okay. Okay. Um, what did you do? Did you run to him like in the movie? No, no, no. Oh. So, so I was flying to move in with him. I like left my life okay. to go, and then I got a call I'm, I'm through security okay. and we'd been having issues in our relationship and it was a hundred percent the right thing to happen in the law lo- okay. in the in retrospect but picture me I think I was like 20 I don't know 21 or 22 or something okay. um maybe a little older uh and I'm at the airport I'm through security I'm like waiting at the gate waiting to board For the fucking plane and they start boarding the plane you know and uh I'm like waiting for my thing or whatever, and I get a, I get a call, and basically this person is uh, like, "You can't come here. I don't want to be with you anymore. Like this is over." This Are is you over. serious? Yeah. And I I'm thought like, it was gonna be the opposite. No, no, I thought no. it was gonna be like, "I love you. Come back." No, no, no. It was like, "This is done. Don't come. Don't get on the plane." So. <laughs> I have to. Go, I'm like devastated. I have to go up to the counter and say, "Can I get a say, refund?" I'm sorry. Well, I said, I said, I don't know what. I don't know how this works, but like I'm, I'm having an emergency. I can't get on the plane, and she's like, "Oh boy, it's a real, it's a whole thing." And I'm like, "Okay, girl, well, what airline was it?" I, I think probably Delta. <laughs> probably Delta, girl. <laughs> probably and Delta. I was like, "Well, your Delta diamond status does not protect you from breakups, no, especially as they happen on board." They had to get my shit off the plane, so I'm delaying the flight. Oh my! They had to get you, my bags who's off. The the 
goal here. This is what this I want to know. Me. First, I thought it was him. Now I think it's you. Maybe it's and Delta. I'm like trying to call. I'm like so. Tr- I'm like so devastated. Him? Then I had to get escorted through the security. Like an asshole. Back through the other way. Yeah. What? And it looks like I've been like caught with drugs or something because I'm crying. Worse. Worse. The, the security's walking me. And then I have to get a cab with my. It was crazy. I get a little taxi you, back home. Did you cry? Of course. Oh my god. I was like, I was like devastated. It oh was so my embarrassing. God, Jesus. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh no, that was a different dynamic. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say that I just had a flashback of once my once <laughs> another airport story a little unrelated. Okay, please. I was coming back from a trip and I'm waiting at the carousel and I see a shirt on the carousel just like a it's shirt. like a clothing mm-hmm. and I was like that's mine. No. And then I my bag comes down burst open with all the clothing it coming dildos, out. Dildos, dildos pouring out of it. Dildo, oh, come dildos, on. anal beads, um, butt plugs, uh, lube of all kinds, water based silicone, Th- everything. This, this, <laughs> but it's like you can take them apart and. Uh, Oh my god! No full size. <laughs> it was in, it was in, it was in um it was in oversize <laughs> with the skis and the snowboards and, and the guns. Oh, Girl. marry the guns! I went to play because you know when we travel, you as, can travel with guns. Hello, when I when we travel with our with our guitars for tour, we have to go pick them up at oversize. You, you know how many times I've, I've, I've do you know how many times I've landed in like a small town chattanooga tennessee wherever mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm waiting to get my guitar and there are people there waiting for their rifles it, it, to come into oversize it's okay. crazy uh, uh, america for you've got some splaining to do yeah hunting jesus it's wild Christ. hunting snowboarding skiing all dangerous activities that all end in death yes for a human or otherwise uh-huh jesus fucking christ yeah, yeah. Asshole. 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 skiing people guns period Asshole. well I'm going to say something controversial. I love you know. I think skiing's more dangerous. Than guns? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I know. I know that's not true. <laughs> yes, I've, I'll, I'll roll with But Sonny Bono died. I'll roll with you. You know who else died? Didn't, Natasha, didn't, um, didn't, Natasha Richard. Richardson. Yes. And Gwyneth Paltrow lost a whole half day <laughs> of skiing. You know what? I'm just going to let wait, you know. Wait, wait. Let me wind that back. Gwyneth <laughs> Paltrow lost a whole half day of skiing. But I wish you well. She did. <laughs> she looked in that courtroom, though. That was so good. Where's the, where's the Ryan Murphy special about that? Come, it's coming. No, it's not. <laughs> Unfortunately, that <laughs> is an asshole. It's yeah, it's an asshole. <laughs> I thought of something very interesting about him earlier, and I won't repeat it. So, Oh, okay. lovely. Yeah. Tell me later. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we properly established whether or not you're an asshole, for real. What do you think? I think I'm not. <laughs> I think that's what we properly yeah, established. That's I nice. think the evidence speaks for itself. Mm. So, in the spirit of not being an asshole, okay. I want to thank you for not being an asshole. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you have it, girls, gays, ladies, and gentle thems. Mm. Um, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Hopefully, we've helped you clean up your ass. Oh, I mean your act. Uh, oh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Who's the Asshole wherever you get your podcast so you don't miss our next episode. And if you want more Orville, Make sure to follow them at, where should they follow you? Uh, on social media. At, at <laughs> is it at the Orville? At, at Orville Peck, I'm sure, yeah. Oh, just first and last name, I'm, easy. I'm easy. all over the place, you'll yeah. find it. He's on the Twitter, now it's called X. Mm-hmm. He's on Xtube, he's on X videos, mm-hmm. he's on uh, Pornhub. Mm-hmm. He's on Farmers all, Only, fa- I don't know if I can say that. Almanac in the back pages of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And lastly, if you have an asshole story to share, call our hotline at 510-asshole and let us have it. I'm Katya, and I'll see you in your hole next time. Dead. Dead. (laughs) Nice.